everyone welcome to my imperfect art number 22 so how are we all doing in the spirit of spreading love and hope this time i decided to do two heart prints on the sand with watercolor so let's begin I'm using 300 GSM watercolor paper and I'll be using a lot of masking fluid today. I'm using the masking fluid to do the waves at the shoreline. But because it's white, you can barely see it. So you can use a little bit of color with your white masking fluid. so that it differentiates and you are able to actually see the waves Make sure it's absolutely dry before you proceed. So for the sand, I'll be using a mix of yellow colors and some golden color as well. In the yellow mix, I have yellow ochre, I have burnt sienna, burnt umber and a little bit of deep red. The golden color is adding a beautiful shimmer. I'm happy I added the golden bit. Okay so now to do the water I need turquoise but I don't have turquoise so I added cerulean blue and some light green color and hoping that I can form that beautiful turquoise color at the shoreline And now I'm adding a bit of ultramarine to do the darker sides. Because I don't have a lot of colors, I am adding a little bit of black with the ultramarine mix to do some darker shades on the water.
keep working on the various shades of water along the shoreline and a little bit of yellow just below those white waves. Okay, so once it's all dry, time to erase off the masking fluid slowly but steadily. The waves have revealed quite nicely. Now I am going to do a color brush and make the whole thing really subtle. I'll be using gouache with water to do the white foams on the waves. Just a little bit of white sprinkling on the water. Okay, so time to do a starfish now. I am using orange, deep red and a little bit of metallic color. Doing some random white dots to give the starfish a bit of a texture. Okay, I'm really liking the texture on the starfish. How about you? Do let me know. Thank you. 
I'll be doing a white conch this side. I've already drawn the outline with a pencil. I really like the shape of a conch. What do you think? It would be nice to do an elaborate conch painting. Maybe one day. Okay, so our waves are done, sand is done, starfish is done and so is the conch. Now time to do the next highlight which is the heart imprints on the sand. Let's do it! So to do the outline, I am using burnt umber, burnt sienna, a little bit of ultramarine and a little bit of black. I just wanted that deep brown dark shade. I think it's working. I think the key to this heart print on the sand would be to give it a little bit of a 3D dimension. So I'm using wide gouache to give it that extra 3D look.
a few last minute addition to enhance the texture of the sand. How do you think the hearts are looking like? I think they are very much in love. Okay, so it's all done now. It's quite a nice top view, don't you think? The waves are soft and subtle. The color of the water is pristine blue. The beach has a shimmering glow. The starfish and the conch has a nice texture and the hearts look happy and intertwined in love. So friends, if you have enjoyed watching this video or even learned anything, I will very much appreciate a like, comment, share or subscription. It really helps the channel and keeps me inspired. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.